Welcome to another video. This one is about a shader that you can use for vegetation to simulate different seasons. You can specify your own colors you want for summer, autumn or winter colors. So in the shader we create an albedo texture and a normal map. Create a slider from 0 to 1 for the winterness is what I called it. It's just a value to distinguish between the seasons. In this case 0 will be summer, something about 0.5 will be autumn and 1 will be winter. We won't use the transparency of the shader, um, we will use the transparent cutout instead. So it's basically um, an opaque shader, but it cuts out the edges based on the alpha value. We will change that um, responding to the winterness value. This is just basic normal strength to control the strength of the normal map for the leaves or the vegetation, whatever you want to create. You can also use it for grass or something like that. Now let's create three color properties. One for the color it has when the values are most um, on the summer side, one for the autumn color and one for the winter color. Because we want the summer color to be shown when the winter net value is zero or close to zero, we just plug in a one minus node and multiply it with the summer color. Then add this together with the autumn or winter color. In this case I first use the winter color because it's easier, you just do the same without the one minus node and now you add the autumn color on top. This is a bit trickier because we don't have values close to 0 or 1 but instead to 0 0.5 so we will use a distance node, plug this one into a one minus node. Then use the power. I found out that the value of 8 is good. And then multiply it with the color. And now you can just multiply that with a desaturated version of the albedo texture and plug it into the albedo of the PBR master node. Mm. 
now we still need to change the alpha value so we have the leaves um, go more transparent the more it become the closer the winterness value becomes to one so winter colors to make the leaves disappear to make it look a bit random and not totally boring I'll use a simple noise node with a scale of 50 then add a winterness value with a 1 minus node clamp the values between 0 and 1 multiply that with the albedo texture and with the alpha value of the albedo texture that's important and we are done now you can add textures for the albedo and the normal and as you can see it works 